Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody today? It is Tesh here. I'm going to go ahead and get an energy update about love in this morning. And then, you know, we're going to look into money as well. But usually it's just a regular energy update and whatever comes through, comes through. But this time I want to focus on romance. And then we'll look at the finance after. Ooh, let's see what is going on <laughs> with the relationship. That's a sign that y'all have reached some type of breaking point, And it may be a good breaking point where things are now coming back together after a break. Coming back into alignment. Coming back into peace. Let's see what comes through. What are the circumstances of romance? Right now, one of the current circumstances for romance. All right. We have the chariot. We have the lovers. Two major arcanas. So we're moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> like it or not, it looks like someone is coming to get what they feel is theirs. Their person, who they feel is theirs. Now, they have been dating somebody else. So it looks like yesterday or today, what's going on now is you and a person who is ordained to be together or who the universe is carrying forward... Because the universe is carrying you forward in this relationship. Y'all spent some time together. A person was able to do what they felt they haven't been able to do in a long time. Maybe y'all have been separated. Someone didn't appreciate the relationship that they were in. Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles. And then they were sending out energy to try to get you back. That energy got you back. <laughs> and now they're secretly trying to figure out how they can get you to agree to be with them again after said breakup or after they didn't appreciate what they had in the past. Because this person had you. You were available. You were something totally different than what they had ever been with before. You were sexy and confident and sophisticated and you had a lot going for you. You have a lot going for you in your life. And yet, he's used to a certain type of woman. He's used to a person that don't carry their own weight. That's kind of a leech. And this person follows you or watches you too. Like the... Either he was dating someone when they met you and they know about you. So now they're following you. They're watching you. They're, they're keeping up with what you have going on. And also, he's watching you. He's keeping up with you. He's watching everything you have going on. But he's the one that's been sending out the energy of coming back to him, reconciling with him. We have the four of pentacles. He wants to hold on to you. He's trying to hold on to you. But you're back in some type of energy where you're not really paying him any mind. 
whatever he did when y'all had whatever separation, because it was a time when he wasn't appreciating what was in front of you. That's the reality of the situation. He wasn't appreciating what was in front of him. Or on the other hand, if you were with somebody like a female, she wasn't appreciating what was in front of her. You two separated. And when you separated, you shut the door and just moved on. You didn't look back. You weren't, you weren't giving energy to the situation. He started giving energy. One of you guys started giving energy. Because I see the energy for the two of pentacles here. Like he was sending you um, thoughts and vibrations of love or wanting back. Or he showed you that he wasn't appreciating you the way you deserved. It's like you picked it up and kept it pushing and you moved on. And now he's coming back wanting to move things forward. This relationship seems to be protected. So if you notice that you haven't been able to, or you weren't really out there or getting attention like you normally would, or even just putting yourself out there like you normally would, the reason behind that was because this relationship is protected by his ancestors and your ancestors. Y'all even have some type of guardian, like guardians. Both of you guys have spiritual guardians that are protecting you individually to make sure you stay on track, that no more harm or distractions come towards you guys. And he's made a decision to leave the energies that weren't at his level and at your level alone so now he's going to show you his intentions is to come into your life and show you that he sees the value in you that he sees the value in the woman that you are because he's really not accustomed to this he's not accustomed to your swag or your energy or your healing energy whatever it is that you have going on with you he is not accustomed to it at all Six of Cups. He's definitely coming back. You're having thoughts of him too. He's having thoughts of you. Both of you guys are mirroring each other, thinking about each other, thinking about the last time you were with each other, reminiscing on good times here. Just romance. So, what is to come? What's to come is you to some type of celebration, wish fulfillment, and moving forward and completing the cycle. You both have completed some type of spiritual cycle where he's completed stuff in his life, you've completed stuff in your life, and now the universe is going to bring you guys back together and y'all can create something beautiful and magnificent and just loving. He loves every bit of you from head to toe. So it's going to be something you've never experienced before. And it's honestly going to be something he's never experienced before because both of you have never actually experienced true love on this type of level. It's always been him carrying the relationship romantically and emotionally and trying to put people on his back. Or on the other hand, it's always been you 
who's watching the video trying to do that. And now you both have collided. And when you first did, y'all both were still wounded and still trying to heal through something. Now the healing has completed. We have the world card. We have the magician. Like it's time to move forward. And during this healing time, he's been able to experience what he's always been accustomed to. And it dawned on him, no, let me, let me go where I see value instead of me always settling and bringing people into my world that just don't belong. So now there's something to celebrate between your ancestors, you, this person and their ancestors, because you're finally, finally in the proper vibration of knowing your self-worth and value, not putting in too much energy, giving the love by drips, not being afraid to love, not holding yourself back, but still also knowing how much, knowing what dosage to put into a situation. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. You're moving out of these Five of Swords energy, moving out of these manipulative, unnecessary relationships. Beautiful. Beautiful. Judgment ending to those type of relationships and going into a mutual bond, a mutual relationship. Something where you both you both will be very happy here. Your needs both will be met sexually, emotionally, financially, Spiritually, your needs will be met. You'll have a friend. Like that's what you have in each other is a friend. This is truly a wish fulfillment when y'all met each other or came across each other. So let me clarify. Let me clarify this chariot, please. Oh. <laughs> We're going to clarify the chariot with the chariot. Moving on from what no longer serves. Bottom line, leaving the past in the past, cutting ties with anything in the past that is just not becoming, not serving, not happy, not a blessing to you or your partner. Both of y'all are doing this individually, but this is deep. When you get the chariot with the chariot, the second most happiest card in the deck, I've feel like in the tarot the sun card is the happiest the chariot is the second happiest card in the deck we have the ten of pentacles with the star the ten of cups with the ace of pentacles when i tell you this is benevolent energy ace of swords three of pentacles and the sun you finally, this is what has happened, actually. Y'all know I got to get into the spiritual growth of it because it's that's just who I am. You guys have finally learned to cut people off and stop trying to help the people that don't appreciate your help when you're giving it to them. You finally learned to let people sort out their own shit, work on their own shit, and you work on yours. You finally learned to let people who wasn't going to appreciate you even in the long run. Let's put that there. Because after you helped them, they were going to have resentment against you anyway. And the moment you came to that conclusion and you did some type of spiritual cord cutting, something in your mind, you may have done a spell it may have just been in your mind, you know what, I'm going to stop this behavior. And you said it and you were finite about it. This time, you were finite about the decision. And here we are. Full blown, it's all handed to you on a platter. The love, the money, the everything that you could ever want in life is just going to come flooding into your life. Thank you, God, for this blessing. And it's because you finally got the friggin' point to move the fuck on. It's just, it's just such, it's so poetic. 
It's so poetic. So the truth of the matter is you've done the work and now you should be in a receiving mode. Expect blessings. You might want to do some type of sigil or um, candle ritual to protect yourself. Maybe light a black candle, put in it a little bit of mugwort, put a little bit of clove, put a little bit of camphor in there and put on your petition Banish negative energy, protect from evil eye, attract love, money, and wealth. And you just want to use a black candle for this. You can use a white one if you don't have a black one. You can draw a sigil on it, put your name on the candle three times, and speak into the candle while it's lit what it is doing for you and let that baby burn out. If you're doing a seven day candle, you can snuff it out and then light it whenever you feel like someone's trying to send you some type of negative energy or anything to that nature, okay? And you can just light it then and it will bounce that energy right off of you and also attract wealth towards you in the same time, okay? Very simple. So y'all need to just move forward. I'm not even gonna continue no reading here because this is powerful this is beautiful and i'm just so happy i really am i'm very proud and happy for you guys protect yourselves out here if you don't believe in the candle ritual you can do something like just meditate and put a beam of protection around you a white light of protection or like a little sphere of protection around you so that if anything comes towards you, it can bounce right off. And the sphere can be mirrored or whatever you want it to be. If you've seen Wakanda forever, you can do it like that and have that beautiful little sphere around you. And that will protect you and keep you away from harm. Okay. All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I love you. Thank you for allowing me to do this beautiful love reading and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.